So I'm calling it now best anime of the year. So Shirokuma Cafe is the only show that I'm going to be doing a full video on by itself because everything else will come probably this weekend for this week. The reason I'm going to give this show an entire video to itself is because it was easily my most anticipated show of this season. Because I don't know if you know but I really really fucking love pandas. So one thing I'm massively pleased about straight away is the length of the episodes because I was expecting five minute shorts. It turns out it's actually 24 minute full episode. How good is that? So Shirokuma Cafe or Polar Bear Cafe is a gag anime focusing on the day-to-day -day lives of personified animals, mainly Panda the Panda, Polar Bear the Polar Bear and Penguin the Penguin. Mainly in episode one we see Panda trying to get a part-time job and obviously the other main characters polar bear, he owns his own cafe, and Penguin is a regular at that cafe. So I had this expectation of this series having a whole host of bear puns, and I was excited about that, but there were none. There were puns, but they weren't bear puns, you know, like Persona 4, anyone? To be honest though, what made this show funny for me was the way Panda acted, because he was very lazy and just didn't want to do anything, he just wanted to sit around and eat bamboo and his masculine mother was trying to make him get this job and trying to suck him up with it. It was funny! It also has repeated jokes, like I said. His mum was trying to suck him up with the hoover and that happens about three or four times in this episode and it's funnier every time it happens. So I think that's a very clever way of doing gags, I guess. I don't even know why I found it so funny. It's just the environment and the situation was so ridiculous that I had this like dumbass grin on my face the entire time I was watching it. It was great. The animation was surprisingly quite good. It just seemed to flow very nicely and the mouth movements weren't as awkward as I thought they were gonna be. The casting, I think, is the huge selling point in this show because you have a superstar lineup. You have Jen Fukuyama, who's voice characters such as Lelouch from Code Geass and Grell from Black Butler. You have Takahiro Sakurai, who voiced Suzuku in Code Geass as well, and Hiroshi Kamiya, who voiced Araragi in Bakemonogatari, and Ko in Arakawa Under the Bridge, and loads of different characters who are awesome. Is that not the most fantastic lineup for a gag anime that you could possibly think of? Honestly though, th like I've said, this has been the thing that I have been anticipating the most. Don't know why, I just really like cute things and this anime supplies me with cute things and I think I overdosed on how adorable it was a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, everything was adorable but I don't think it's adorable to the point where it's gonna put off male views because it could just be me and really liking pandas. Pandas! So I think if you either like laughing or you like cute things, you might want to give this show a go because it is definitely worth it and it's definitely going to be a highlight of my year. I see it now. I just want there to be merchandise of this show already because I want a huge life-size plushie of Panda because he's so cute. Panda is now my favourite characters on my anime list because I loved him. He was great. And I think that's all I have to say on this show. It was cute. I like pandas. Again. <laughs> oh, I... That grin's coming back there. I'm gonna have to go and watch it again now. I'm sorry. I'll see you guys later.